The Disasters Emergency Committee is urgently appealing for funds to aid those affected by the recent escalations in conflict across the Middle East, particularly in Gaza, Lebanon and the West Bank. And while this appeal is crucial, the impact will be limited unless Israel opens border crossings to allow more humanitarian aid into Gaza, where 90% of the population has been displaced and essential resources are rapidly dwindling. As the DEC's chief executive, Saleh Said, has remarked, millions of people, including many thousands of children, are dealing with almost unimaginable trauma. He emphasises the severity of the situation, noting the collapse of healthcare systems, widespread shortages of food and clean water, and this is echoed by Rachel Cummings of Save the Children, who warns of a humanitarian catastrophe, with rising cases of illness like jaundice and respiratory diseases among children, diseases exacerbated by malnutrition and unsanitary conditions. The UK government is matching public donations up to £10 million to support this effort, as highlighted by Annalise Dodds, the Minister of State for Development. She emphasises that humanitarian support is urgently needed for the most vulnerable people, underscoring the essential role of charities in providing aid. Still, access remains a critical challenge. Without significant easing of border restrictions, the capacity of the DEC to deliver these vital supplies, medical care, food and shelter, is severely constrained, leaving many in desperate need, despite the efforts of goodwill people around the world around the country, in Scotland, in Scotland particularly. In Scotland, the appeal is supported by prominent charities such as the Red Cross and Oxfam. And as Rob Murray of the British Red Cross has noted, the situation is worsening daily, especially in Lebanon, where over a million people have been displaced. He urges public donations to help my mitigate the ongoing crisis. No matter the amount, every donation, he says, helps provide essential humanitarian aid. The message is clear. While funds are crucial, so too is the cooperation needed to ensure aid reaches those who are most in need.